Once upon a time, two friends joined forces to bring you the best in horror entertainment. Brian from the north, Tim from the south, each bringing their own unique perspective to the horror community. Movie reviews, Blu-ray releases, beer pairings, games, and more. Welcome to your new home for horror. This is Civil Gore. Hey everybody, this is Tim from the Civil War Podcast along with my co-host Brian and we have a special little mini bonus episode for you this week. Yes, uh, Shudder was nice enough to send us the screener for their new uh, shark vehicle uh, called <laughs> Great White. Um, yeah, we, you know we have to say vehicle, that's why we, you know, that's that's kind of our shtick nowadays. But uh, yeah, this one was, I mean, to me it's like anytime I get like a shark movie, my, my ears perk up, my eyes pop open because I want to, I, I love any kind of... Uh, shark movie you know ever since i saw jaws i'm always going to be a, a a big shark movie fan um so this one just uh we're, we just wanted to give a little mini so because as you're listening to this it's actually debuting on shutter today so um once again it's a great white from 2021 uh it's directed by martin wilson and stars the great katrina Bowden, who of course she's this is not her first um journey into like aquatic antagonists it's of course she was in the piranha movie she's always great in uh her style she was great we loved her in uh, uh tucker and dale versus evil also has aaron jacobenko as charlie uh which tim will tell you he's not one of tim's favorite characters i can tell you that no uh, <laughs> we'll have to talk about that later <laughs> yeah we'll, we'll, we'll touch on that uh kimmy Tsukakoshi as Michelle, and Tim Kano as Joji, and Tiko Tahuka as Benny. So uh, I'll give you read the synopsis. It says, a fun-filled flight to a remote atoll turns into a nightmare for five passengers when their seaplane is destroyed in a freak accident, and they are trapped on a raft 100 miles from shore with man-eating sharks lurking beneath the surface. So um, what you want, kind of like, if you want a kind of like a, a quick like kind of feel for this movie you kind of think it's definitely more of kind of like uh what, what's that one with uh blake lively uh, was it the 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 shallows the shallows kind of like uh the other one open water where it's kind of like one of the, like a slow burn shark film you know where yeah. it's like they get put in a situation and, it's, and it almost like develops kind of like in real time as you're you know once once the, the shark element comes into play and you know, to me, I, I kind of dug it. I, you know, I mean, it's funny. Tim and I both the first uh, thought the same thing. It's like it starts off, you know, and, you know, you, you know, it's a shark movie. But, like, you know, all you keep seeing is this guy. They own a, a plane. They don't own a boat. You know, if they made us, <laughs> they owned a sea boat. Uh, you know, I mean, like, a, you know, a tourist boat. You would understand. Yeah. Say, oh, I can see where this is going. But then you wonder, like, okay, no, they got a pl- seaplane. Uh, you know, how are you know how is this going to be related? To how are they and I'm get such an trouble? idiot because the whole time I'm thinking, how are they going to get a shark on this plane versus how are they going to get the plane in the water, which is probably the more obvious thing, right? To think. Right. But that's how my mind works. It goes for the most ridiculous option. Right, but, but you know, it's like you know, as you go along, though, you know, I'm looking at, it, I'm like, okay, something's gonna happen with this plane. You know, they're, they're gonna obviously, they're gonna have an issue with the plane. They're not gonna be able to take off or something. I, I kind of thought more so that they were gonna like have to make, uh, like they were gonna get stuck trying to take off. But then again, that would not add the the right thrill to it because actually, the one thing, the one one of the great things this movie does is it kind of explains the situation they're in they're actually they end up i mean without giving a spoiler they have to go um they're supposed to just go on this like leisurely uh tour with this couple that hires them um but they end up having to they find out about a i guess they're they find out about the uh, the missing woman from um the the missing woman they they assume it might be shark related so they actually go to find they go to search and that's kind of how they get put in this predicament. And now, obviously, of course, since this, this comes out today, we don't want to give any too many details away. We'll just kind of give an overview. But I mean, I, I have to say, I mean, yes, there were was it was there some some silly scenes in it, you know, in terms of situations. And actually, silly is not the great word. It's it's more of like a like you know like one of these movies, like oh my god, how do they keep getting into these situations? But I think this movie does a good job of explaining each one that they get into. Like it makes kind of sense. And and I and I happen to like that slow burn shark formula. You know, it doesn't always have to be where. There's like a shark attack every five seconds. I think sometimes the suspense of not knowing when a shark might come or what kind of danger they're in is kind of more effective in a lot of ways. What did you think, Tim? Yeah, I agree. I like the uh, I like shark movies that are a little more on the realistic side, sort of like sort of like Jaws, I guess, because it goes back to my love of Jaws. But yes, yeah, you know, a lot there's a lot of 
there's a lot of bad shark movies out there that are like full of CGI sharks and there's a kill every 90 seconds and, and that kind of thing. And it's more, it's, it's more kind of over the top and silly. This one definitely falls into the range of more like you said, open water, 47 meters down the shallows, those more yeah. realistic shark movies that are, you know, kind of, kind of straddle the line between horror and just survival type movies. Right. So right. Uh, if you, if you dig those, which I do, um, yeah, I like the all the movies I mentioned. I really like those. So if you dig those, I think you'll like this one. I, I was entertained by it. And um, yeah, I mean, I I don't, well, should I, should I say there are any bad shark movies? I don't know if that's a, that's yeah, a fair I mean, statement, there, there, right? There's, yeah, there, there's, uh, the way I look at it is pretty much there's great shark <laughs> movies and shark movies. That's right. That's right. So Because, yeah, yeah I mean, I, I, like, I will watch any one of them that, you put out there because it is one of those it because you know there's, if, if you think about it the shark movie genre to to begin with is kind of interesting because like you said it's it's it, it, they you know a good one will really really good one will walk the line between survival and horror but it's a real horror and like you I mean you hear about shark attacks all the time so this is not like something out of the for about like a word out of the blue uh you know it's like <laughs> you know it, it these these things happen and you know it's like what what I liked about this one is without giving spoilers away is that is that that the situation they got put into is extremely a legitimate situation that could happen. And I have to say that even with seeing a million shark movies, I thought this one brought a lot of surprises. Like I didn't there were a lot of scenes that kind of like I was like, Oh, wow, you know, like I didn't expect everything like i tend to in a lot of these movies so i thought it did a really good job keeping you on your toes you really i thought they, they built a lot of suspense i mean there were some really there were some real sequences of where you weren't sure like what was going to happen they did a gr- i think they did a great job of continuing the suspense built bu- you know c- kept building and rather than like waning which i think is 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 hard to do in in some movies these days and i thought this one did a good job doing that yeah, yeah, I agree. I, th- I thought, yeah, it actually definitely got better as it went along, actually. Kind of the opposite of what you might expect right? for some of these movies. Like, they try to you know, capture you with a big bunch of kills and stuff at the beginning, and then it kind of tapers off. But this one's kind of the opposite. But yeah, I really liked it. Uh, if you guys uh, enjoy shark movies, or especially if you like those kind of, like I said, those kind of survival-type shark movies, versus uh, the more kind of, I hate to say supernatural, but kind of, fantasy type shark movies i think you're gonna really really like this one so check it out on shutter today yes 